This is Erica, also known as the Sassy Mom 82, and I am having my tummy tuck surgery. It's a full extended abdominal plasty with muscle tightening as well as liposuction on March 26th. So that's about seven weeks away, not too far. And um, I just wanted to give you my thoughts of the day. It is Friday the 8th, I believe, or the 9th. I think it's the 9th. I think it's the ninth. Um, anyways, um, my husband and I went to the Orlando outlets and I had a few fat girl moments. Um, fat girl moments are what I like to say, uh, moments of being 300 pounds up here, but not 300 pounds out here. And um, kind of wanted to share those with you. Um, I've had gastric bypass surgery, uh, Rue and wife, in 2006. So that's almost seven years. It'll be seven years in August. And um, I've been able to maintain and keep off almost 100 pounds. I fluctuate up and down five to 10 pounds. It depends. And um, my mind hasn't really had time to play catch up with my body. So every now and then I'll have these fat girl moments is what I like to call them. Um, it's not, you know, being uh, racial or anything or, or politically incorrect. It's just my way of saying, you know, I've had these moments where my mind still thinks I'm that 300 pound insecure woman and um, now I'm not so and I'm realizing that um, while going through this body transformation that also my mind is going through a transformation. So I wanted to share this with you. Uh, we went to, like I said, we went to the Orlando outlets to go um, cruise shopping for my kids and my husband. My husband's been uh, working out with me so he's been losing weight. He's been able to lose almost 40 pounds um he's, he's done awesome i'm so proud of him and uh he needs he needs some shorts and all of the shorts are fitting big his belt is on the last you know little button or hole that it can fit so he's in desperate need of shorts so we walked into aero pastel and i as you know the big minded woman uh never really thought of walking in and trying on clothes in an average size store like Aeropostale because they didn't carry sizes in my size you know I was a 3x almost 4x and they didn't have that so I never really walked into the store to even try because you know that, that, that was a skinny store that was for skinny people so I never really walked in there and I walked in you know obviously not thinking of buying anything um, but they had a really good sense. I was like, oh, let me go see what I can find. You know, maybe if I'm lucky, they'll have a 2X hiding somewhere. Um, anyway, so I tried on a sweat pants suit. Um, I was thinking, okay, what can I wear post-op? What can I wear during recovery that's comfortable? Something that I can hang my drains off of. Something that's easy, but still kind of cute. Because I'm like, I don't want to look awful. I know I'm going to look awful, but I don't want to, you know, if you wear something pretty, you'll feel pretty. So I kind of wanted to keep that mentality. So I found this really cute pant set, and I tried on the, the 2X, it was a, a double double X, and it was too big, go figure. Um, of course, automatically, I go for the big sizes, it's just my mind, you know, it hasn't played cut, catch up with my body, and uh, I still, to this day, I'll walk into a department store, and I'll go straight to the plus size women's. It's just, I've been doing it for so long that it's just automatic. Um, at Target, I go straight to plus size. Um, Walmart, straight to plus size. Um, the mall, straight to Lane Bryant. Um, Rainbow Plus. I mean, I can tell you all the big girl stores. I I still go there. And, um, you know, some things fit. Some things, um, they ring, you know, their fit is smaller, a little tight, cut differently. So some things I can get away with, but most things are, are too big. And I'm finding out now that I'm, you know, able to fit into a regular size, average sized people clothing stores like Aeropostel. So I was lucky. My husband spoiled me today. Um, and I bought, well, he bought, um, these really cute, like, workout sweats. Really cute. Um, has this, like, pink little logo on it. And I, I have never, ever bought anything from Aeropostel because they didn't make my size. So this is my first purchase from Aeropostale, hopefully one of many. And this is an extra large because the 2X was too big. This one was actually, it, fit, it fits perfect. Um, if I wash it, it'll even fit even better. 
and um, it has a drawstring, you know, just because I know I'm going to be wearing a binder for a while, so I wanted something that was going to be comfortable and I was going to be um, swollen, so I, I made sure to keep that in mind. Uh, also, I had to buy this cute sweater, really cute, that set that goes with it, and it was 70% off, everything was 70% off, so I got everything like under 40 bucks, which was really cute, and this is also an extra large. And then I bought these really cute yoga pants. Um, I do yoga, I also spin, I also cycle, uh, Zumba, ripped class, any class that I get into, I'm usually in. Um, I'm very well known at my local YMCA. And so these are super cute and they're long. And also I figured, you know, I can hang my drains off of these with some like clips or something or safety pins. Um, so something that I can like go to the doctors in or something I can just lounge around in, um, stretchy, nice and comfortable, and long, um, and so I got all of that, and all extra large, so I was super excited to be able to, excuse me, allergies, um, to buy average size clothes and have them fit, I mean, it's just, it's kind of surreal because I've worked so hard to be healthy. I don't want to say to be skinny because that's, that's not what it is. I never wanted to be skinny. I wanted to be healthy. And now my mind's pay, playing catch up with my body and I'm going through this transformation of my body that also going through a transformation of here as well. So it's been a long process. My other fat girl moment that I had today was I went to Victoria's Secrets. I went in there not thinking I would buy anything. Just because, again, it's the supermodel store, it's the angel store. You have to have this, you know, slamming body that has zero ounces of fat. But I was like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I could find something that I can wear post-op. Or maybe I can have an idea of the type of panties that I could wear with the new body that I'm going to have. Um, I was just having some fun, really, with my husband. And they were having a bra sale. I needed some bras. So I was like, okay. Let's see what I can find. Maybe it'll fit. I've never bought anything at Victoria's Secret just because it didn't fit. I was always scared that the clasp would not reach or that it would break or, or something like that. But I was able to find a super cute Victoria's Secret bra that fits. It fits perfect. So I'm so excited. Never have I bought anything from either of those, of those stores. So it was really exciting to be able to spoil myself a little bit and get some things that, you know, I would normally never shop for because they didn't fit. Um, so, just wanted to give you my thoughts of the day. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Um, my surgery is about seven weeks away. I'm super excited. Still not scared. I'm, I mean, of course, this major surgery, so I'm a little scared. But I think I'm more excited than anything else um, to get the healing good. process started. Um, and to be able to enjoy the body that I've worked so hard to have. And, um, like I said, any questions, go ahead and shoot them over to me. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can get all my updates, all my videos that I upload. I'm super, super excited to, uh, see how this journey unfolds and I'm glad to have you all, um, watch me go through this and even if I help one person, um, you know, decide to make the change of becoming who they are on the inside um, and have it shown on the outside, then it was all worth it. So until the next video, YouTube, see you later.